brighter weather again. Temperature now 13 centigrade, 55 Fahrenheit in central London, moving to 19 centigrade, 66 Fahrenheit. The wind is moderate southwesterly. Sunset 7.25 and the lights go on at 8.55. And now time for a 60 second sermon. This morning, the Reverend Anthony Leonard of the Church of St. Saviour Le Strand in the heart of London. Good morning, Sodom and Gomorrah. Good morning, sinners. No, that wasn't your radio sets on the blink again. Sinners, I meant, because sinners we are, all of us. Now, stroll on, vicar, I hear you cry. Sodom and Gomorrah, this is London, Gov, to which I say, hang about, mate. Is there no one in Hackney, for example, driven by the stirrings of lust? How about Tufnell Park? Nobody there, even as I speak, paralyzed by slope. No one commuting to Wilsdon, perhaps, tortured by envy? And what about Hammersmith? Is no man there, I wonder, consumed by avarice? Or, by the same token, is everyone in happy Hampstead, for instance, innocent of gluttony? Or Holland Park, for argument's sake. Is no one there, at this very moment, stiff-necked with pride? And Knightsbridge, say, not one benighted soul racked with wrath. Citizens of Sodom and Gomorrah, we're embarking on a new day. Let's make it different. Let's make it a day of change, a day without sin. For the sake of the loved ones around you, for all our sakes and therefore your own, I pray you, literally, for a change. Have a nice day, please. Well, that was the Reverend Anthony Leonard of the Church of St. Saviour Le Strand in central London. Now, time to go to travel. Laurie Keenan, how things are joring? Quite a lot happening now, actually, on the north side of Kew Bridge, the broken down heavy goods vehicle at Lionel Road is causing congestion, affecting the south side of the road, the A4 and the M4 westbound access, and also the M4 eastbound as a uh, short tail back of Chiswick. The traffic lights have gone out at top and court road at the junction of Oxford Street. We have road work on number 10 Street, uh, affecting much of the city. Northbound traffic on Greenford Road towards the A40 Western Avenue is tailing back two miles. Road work up at the flyover. The so what's the rest of it today, Bamba? I wish you'd get a new typewriter in here. 30 years that I know of it, and the wires still come out like these. So what is it today, then? French Riviera to Bermuda. Wilsdon to Hammersmith. Piece of pudding. Good. Bit of luck, I'll be in a boozer by two. I don't want to know. Don't mind it, mate. Oh, Christ, I thought the exam was last night. Oh, it was postponed until tonight. The glass and windows was vandalised, it was raining in. Anyway, there is no towns with the wine. What? So it don't matter at all if they come out like these. York's got a wife? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yarmouth's got a wife? Yeah, all right, all right. Yeovil's got a wife? I said all right! Jesus. Now, where do you want to start? The beginning again? No, soccer team, please. Right. First stop, Fat 14, Verity Court, Station Gardens, Wilson. Do you want the A to Z? Do me a favour. There's nowhere in London with a Y. Nowhere we do. Putney? Oh, right. Stepney? Yeah, all right. Finchley? Bromley? Camberley? Wembley? Osterley? Cumbery? Leighton? Mm. We're not doing any of them, though. So where she put the bee? Born in Tornado. Another day of challenge and opportunity. Yeah, right. Feels more like Friday to me. Or Friday, according to her type writer. To answer your question, Paul.
against them. Christ almighty. What's up? Well, don't pull tricks like that, Des. Not to a 60 a day, man. I mean, I only thought I was getting a bleeding cold, didn't I? Well, you bloody well was. Here she comes. Let's hang about. Have you put the kettle on? Mind your big head. Lying. Well, are they all that size? There's only this and one more. Oh, well, that's handy then. Right, so we'll have a tea break at half time then, all right. Mum, don't. Don't what? I'll come and visit you. Every week. I told you that. I can stand here if I want. It's my house. How far am I going, eh? Tough new park ain't Timbuktu, is it? Oi, Dad. Is that kettle singing yet, then? Hang about, last one. No, it's fruiting time. You said. I'm coming up. Well, I'm coming down now. No. Mum! No! Oh, God, this is chasing my... Oh, it's messing up, Dad. Mum! Don't care! Nothing to do with me, mate. I'm on wages. Mum! You get the lodger in here tonight, right? You'll be better off. Money coming in and that. Everybody's got to leave home sometime, Mum. It's human nature. Doing what you and her do isn't human nature. It's sex. Two sugars for me, Des. Good boy. Well, I hope she feeds you like I do. She's never had a bleeding elephant to feed. So, oh, Mum. I've a bottle of tomato sauce on every meal. Tomato sauce bleeding sandwiches. You won't get fat doing what you and her do every chance you get. You won't put no weight on getting what she gives you. She will. Bleeding pregnant. She's in love with me, Mum. Now, do me a favour. She is. Just because she gets you going behind the dog track after night school? That only means you're in love with her, you great Wally. It doesn't even mean that. It means nothing. Anything with no bra on gets you going. You couldn't even watch Miss World without thinking things. I saw you. Stan, this door ever open or what, eh? Special model this, mate. Nothing opens. Except when it's moving. Mark my words. By Sunday, you'll be kicking her out of bed to get your Kentucky Fried Chicken. Have they got one in Tufnell Park? <laughs> Pull your finger out, Stan. I think I pulled the fleet and starter out. What the hell is it? Little going away present sort of thing. Shove it in your pocket. Don't be balmy. Where do you get five quid to chuck about? Which not out of the gas or nothing. It's for your draft excluders like sausage dogs, isn't it? I'm not going in for the sausage dog ones now. You like the sausage dog ones? Buy her a bunch of flowers. You ho. You have to have flowers. Pay it back. Go on with you. It's not as though it's every day. Bye, Mum. Best of luck, then. What he's saying, the point he's making, see, what his point is, is virtue is knowledge, and therefore by definition wickedness is uh was it ignorance well yeah more or less all right go on yeah, just keep your good eye on the road nick all right and socratic argument is socratic argument is arriving at the con no arriving uh, arriving at truth of the argument by eliminating the convert any minute Which now could... we're going to arrive at the truth in a bleeding socratic pile up through a shop window how the hell can he drive Oh, you're a right woman's plaything, you aren't you? Wilson, could drive it to bleed yourself, hey, right? Hey, hey. I'll test you. Which one's out for Socrates? Descartes. Who? There, underneath the Socrates coming. Now, Descartes' point, see, the, what he's saying is, I think, therefore I am. Then what? Just am. Don't just be am, you've got to be am something. Am right, all right? Next. Uh, Later, innit? Or clock a card. Yeah, hang about, hang about. Hey, hey! In your way, I thought it. Yeah.
But it wasn't Rolls Royce. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anything for Rogers, 35C. Hodges, 35C. Hodges, 35C. Want to sign for, that's all. Barking ticket. 18th today. My record's 27. I only flogged the car on Monday, had to, to hire this bugger. Can't you put not known at this address? We moved to Wilston today. Wilston's not beyond the arm of the law, you know. Give me a couple of days grace, though, won't it? Ten quid. Sunny money, isn't it? <laughs> right. Ta. Ta. Can you give us a hand, Keith? I'm guarding this lot, ain't I? Can you pack that with the rest of the clobber? It's my music, isn't it? I want my music with me, don't I? Bloody turn right, I know that. It's me that's carrying it, Keith. Shall I switch it on then? Why, will it make it lighter or something? Give us a nice send off, won't it? Music playing and that. Excuse me, Keith. Men at work. You gave him back the key, Carrie. He was in the hall waiting for it. He said we're still legally liable for the tiles around the Ascot. I'd have punched him in the mouth. You weren't there, Keith. You was busy guarding. Would you mind backing up a bit? She might need another yard. How do you mean? The wife. Uh, she's not driven one of these before. Sorry, mate. We've got gear to unload. You're not moving in, are you? 35C. That's right. Oh, we're moving out. Oh. He's in there with a the key if you want it. Mr. Bridges. Got a face like a ostrich's ass. No, it's all right. Well, I'll make it for the girlfriend and that. Well, she done the deposit. You know, the signing and everything. Surf flat, really. Not here yet, I don't think. She said to wait outside. Well, I ain't seen her birds around or nothing. Where are you off then? Uh, Willsden, really. First time buyers. You're buying? Yeah, first time. That's why we're down. It's first time buyers. That's the name. It goes under sort of style. Twenty-nine and a half grand, not counting solicitors. Jesus. Ninety percent mortgage, million pounds a month for a million years. It's me sorted out, isn't it? Oi, Dave. God, heard of the white man's bleed bird. Give us a hand to get this in, will you? You can't go in. She's not here yet. Well, no, I don't want to charge you waiting time. No, I mean I got my window cleaning at Dalston at half past ten. Decent flat, is it then? 35C. Oh, it's not bad for rented. Right. Excuse me, mate. Can't get a cup of tea round here, can you? Second on the left, Olympic kebab and Donna. Does tea, coffee, bacon, sarnies, and Durex gossamer. Cheers. Okay, Keith. You sure you've got enough room? Come on. Room in. Like nothing. You're not smiling. No one's cracked a bleeding joke yet. Just think what we're getting, Keith. Our own flat. Doing what we want, when we want. It's 
supposed to be a happy day, Keith. We can start a family in that now. What? 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 Start a family. Kids? What? We're buying a bloody 29 and a half grand flat. Yeah? Well, that's why, isn't it? Why what? Point is making. What his point is is the need for man to act and choose. It, it don't come from philosophic thought, but you nick your double part, mate. The natives will never get out. You will block the old street stuck here. I think our best plan is to go back home to bed. It'll break your heart, that wouldn't it, sweetheart? Go on. The need for man, need to, for act man and to act and choose. It don't come from philosophic thought, <laughs> but from a spontaneous function of the will, which is the basis of. Existentialism. Right, Paul? Eh? You do things from a spontaneous function of the will, don't you? Do I? Of course you do. And nipping and tell the cousin we're here, flat 14. Why me? Because you've got eye cheekbones. Move! It's always me, isn't it? Is he having woman trouble again? Don't tell me, I don't want to know. Paul! It's the day we're moving him. You never know, it might be a flat full of chorus girls. Pathetic, isn't it? Flat 14, all right. Oi! We used to dream of this day, Keith. We used to look in estate agents' windows up the other way road with three fags between us till payday and bloody dream of it. Yeah, well, we'll have to stop smoking altogether now, won't we? You said you'd get jobs on the side. No bleeding option, have I? Well, all other firemen do jobs on the side. You said Les could fix you up with some decorating and a bit of garden maintenance. And I could do mornings at play school. And I've got my mail order at night. It's what marriage is, isn't it? Home and kids. What else? Nothing. I get around to everything in my own time, Carrie. First time buying, kids, you name it, in my own time, right? You never get round to nothing, Keith. You'd have slobbed about in that dump all your life. You're a bone idle bastard, Keith. You needed a kick up the arse. That's it then, isn't it? Let's go and complete or whatever it is and get the keys in that. I'll guard the van. Last removals. Not Mrs. Maguire? No, I've been telling a lie if I said it was Mrs. Maguire, madam. I couldn't live with myself. I don't like opening the door. Well, it's either that or squeezing your furniture out the letterbox, madam. I'm easy. Morning. What do you want? Last removals. In what way? Sorry? You can't come in. Even Mrs. McGuire doesn't come in, and she likes the smell of cats. We've come to move your furniture. What for? You're going to Hammersmith. Hammersmith, south of the river. No, it ain't. Oh, well, why would I want to go south of the river? You're not. You're going to Hammersmith. What for? Because you're going to bleed and live there, you stupid old sod. Oh, oh God.
Where the hell's he got to? Maybe it is a flat full of Cora's girls and he's sleeping it off. bedroom. Thank you for being such a nice bedroom. Dudley. Bye-bye, bedroom. <laughs> Do you remember when that pigeon flew in the window? When we were in bed, in the middle of... Oh, you ran round and round the room with nothing on, chasing it with a Sunday newspaper. We weren't quite in the middle. We just started. Well, I just started. You were reading. Bang in the middle of Robert Cushman and Say then bye-bye to Mommy and Daddy's bedroom, Tasha. Bye-bye, Mommy and Daddy's bedroom. Good girl. It's more wrapped from her. Yes. They're here. You let them in, I'll, I'll get the phone. Then I can say bye-bye to the phone at the same time. Good thinking. Hello, Alison Metcalf speaking. I'm afraid I've unplugged the answering machine. They haven't moved out yet. He rang them. The removal men have only just come be an hour or so yet. I knew it was too early. Personally speaking, I think it's too late. Chauvinist. I've left that big tall boy for him. I'll kill him in the interest of humanity. Come on, anyone can go to the wrong flat. Professional hazard, isn't it? Rest of her life. Anyone happens to mention Anna Smith, she'll have a bleeding heart attack. That's not funny. If it really sets life, I'll be satisfied. Come on, I love. You have heard he's got four married women on the go. In shifts. Two a night. Don't want to know. I'll tell you you don't hear much of these days. You what? Tall villain Dean. Papers used to be full of them, didn't they? Say yes. Yes. Not now, though. Shows you. Power of the press. All right, all right. Keep moving. That includes you, Tornado. Bye-bye, living room. Bye-bye, living room. <laughs> we never did get round to mirror tiling the fireplace. <laughs> no. Now get your hands out of your pockets. Only trousers pulled down. Still. Knock, knock. Excuse me, madam, sir. Uh, say goodbye to the kitchen yet, have you? No, not yet. Uh, the bedroom and bathroom we have. Are we silly? Not at all, madam. It's a very emotional time for you. Some hours as I've done. That's worse than Anna Karenina. <laughs> Did you want us to do the kitchen next? We're leaving the cooker and the fridge. There's only uh, pots and pans, uh, one tea chest. And a kettle. Kettle? In the tea chest. Well, yes, there's a kettle. A long way down, will it be? Sorry? It'll take a lot of fishing out, will it? Only the lads, you see, I find they work a lot better with a squirt of rosy in them, so... That him. Oh, God, must be. Come on, darling. Grandpa's here. So if the kettle's not too inconvenient, where are you crawling in? A spanner with a kid's cot. You can't carry a kiddie's cot in one piece. Oh, I never thought. How can I carry a book on my own? Tornado, my love. You never go to the van empty-handed. Never. Biggest sin in a book. Ashtray. Anything. Oh, sorry, Bamba. Be off this morning. A bit of lumber at home. The wife's brother's on leave from Northern Ireland. I don't want to know. Here, cop hold of it. And you've labelled all your tea chests and all? It was you that brought me the labels, Dad. Yeah, different colour for each door of the new house. Same colour for whatever tea chests go in what room, so as when you get there, you'll know what goes where. And they're the... labelled. They're labelled. Everything is labelled. Go. Sorry, go. Mm. On your backs. So. Oi. What colour label you got on there? None, Dad. I know hmm? which room that's going in. But they don't, though, do they? Right, on your way. I'll sort you out of the other end. Right, you go indoors right, now. I'll organise this lot. I, I think you're a bit in the way there, Dad. Here, you. Whoa! 
Am I having the pleasure of you addressing me, Guff? You what? Only I thought I heard you say whoa, and I wondered if you was talking to us. Look, I'm just telling you, you'll want a blanket wrap round that, right? Why, just one the Grand National, is it? What? I just got on, shall I, Guff? Look, it needs a blanket for if you stand anything on top of it, right? And you shove it right at the back and tie the casters to the van. I've seen enough chair legs broken with you, hooligans. Anything broken is insured and claimable for God. Paragraph 14, back your contract. Look, don't you come the verbals with me, mate. All I have to do is ring your office, speak to your governor. So, moving house is very upsetting. It's a big upset, man. People get upset. According to medical opinion, the loss of a loved one is the worst shock there is to the nervous system. Divorce is the next worst, and the third worst is moving ass. Well, of course it is. On the one hand, it's turning your animal instincts inside out, isn't it? Leaving a cave in it. On the other, it's what your human instincts want, isn't it? Question the unknown in it. So, well, look, what you got is the biggest emotional upheaval money can buy. And people get upset. Well, there's no need. You leave the upsetment to us. You won't even know it's happened. Be a little holiday for you. I mean, fair is fair, Gov. It ain't even you just bleep moving. Well, of course I am. Um, I'm having the granny fat in the new house, aren't I? Even though I'm not a granny. <laughs> no? But that's why they're moving to the big house. My daughter wants me with her. Oh, yeah. She would, yeah. I can see that. Excuse me. Now, all my stuff is in storage. I don't want your mob smashing up everything I've got. <laughs> Experience, you see. I've moved more times than you've had hot dinners. <laughs> no one's done nothing more times than I've had hot dinners. I have four a day at this game, and I've done for the past 37 years, and that don't include the victory visa suck in between. All right. Hey. Eh? After you, madam. There you go, darling. Hmm? You can play with Grandpa. Morning. Morning. I like your skates. Oh, it's all. Yours, are they? Yeah. You got a name, have you? Yeah, Desmond. And uh, where do you live? Desmond. There. You're hackling away. But there now. Sort of. I see. This isn't Hackney, Desmond. No, I know. Oh, good. Oh. You taking in washing, are you? No. Well, what are you doing then? Just sitting here. Of course you are. Open it up, sunshine. It's every page it turns here, isn't it? What is? Computer adverts. Which computer to buy? Bleeding thousands of them. You need a bleeding computer to read them. What are you supposed to do with it when you've got one anyway? Oh, they do everything, computers. Like what? Everything. What, though? You name it. You bleed and name it. Well, progress, isn't it? Necessity of life. Yeah, whoa! Hey, Dudley, you got a yellow label on the chest of drawers. I thought I was copying to the chest of drawers, Anderson said. Put it down. Look, if it's granny flat, it should be a blue label. So I'm telling these geezers for yellow, read blue, right? Ready, fat. Get a grip, Dudley. Jesus. Hello. And this is before Hello. he's moved in with us. I screwed the legs off the TV. I don't want to know. It was a happy flat, wasn't it, Dudley? We'll be all right. Uh, everything in order, madam? Do you want to see me? No. Oh, dear, oh, Lord. Them lads, they're winding me up again. I mean, they said you wanted to see me. Urgent. No. <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea, then? Oh, really? Well, that's 
Very nice of you, madam. The lads will be surprised. I'm sorry, I don't know where the sugar is. It's in the great plastic bags, about ten inches down under the self-raising flour. Oh, right. Would you like it strong or weak? Anyway, it comes, madam. We was all in the arm of the girl guides. I'm afraid we didn't order milk today, what with us moving. The lady in flat five tells me she'd be more than happy to oblige, sir. In that case, tea up. Thank you, madam. Tidy's a comfort and joy, lad. Come forth and joy. Be oh, fair, right. what you're saying, it's balmy, isn't it? It's a point of view, isn't it? Like a philosophic point he's making. You can't all. say nothing's real. I'm not. I'm real. You're real. Miss Isles is real. What he's got in his wife fronts is real. He's got 127 kids from here to Potter's Bar to prove it. 128? Look, what Plato's saying, see, the point he's making... Well, listen, the point he's making, see, is that there's... There's like what's real to us sort of thing, and then there's sort of what's really real it, it, in a sort of ideal state, and that is realer, really. Well, I'll give you a similar. Like, for instance, once we've shifted this lot over to Hammersmith, well, them flats ain't really real. Like, them flats ain't real once we've shifted this lot to Hammersmith. There's an echo in here. Is that what you're saying? Well, somebody did. The old lady nearly finished all them flats are real to her, aren't they? It's bleeding Hammersmith, it ain't real to her. I'm not Plato. You're bloody Coco, mate. Plato wants to work on this job for a week. He'd know what's real. My backache's real. No one wants to work on this job, mate. No way. Careful, lads. This ain't no ordinary job. This is a public service. That's true. I've got more on the dole. Well, get back on the bleeder, then. Think what we do, lad. Think what midwives do, eh? What? See on a bell. It's a long time since we crawled out of the primeval swamp on our bellies. You don't know what we do, do you? I do. Break my back up in ten-ton wardrobes. You? You what? When? Where was I at the time? No union. Subs ought to gaffer every week. I pay him every Friday. Albert Einstein said that chopping wood is more use and satisfaction than any... When did Albert Einstein ever chop wood? When he was humping ten-ton wardrobes. Listen, the only satisfaction in this job's like last week. Crouch into Clapham. The fella's missus stripping off in the bedroom when I walk in to get a dressing table. Don't want to know. And she says to me, before you move the bed, darling, do you think you might just see your way to... Right, that's it. Just... Tea breaks over. Come on, back inside. Move. She's lying there, pulling down her... Take your cups head. with you. No slopping on the ramp and no faggings of men. Come on, mush. He didn't even want to live with us till he heard old Sam Foley was getting a granny flat. Sam Foley went to Fuengarola with his daughter. We had to take him to Fuengarola. Sam Foley got a pocket calculator for Christmas. We had to get him one. He doesn't even need a pocket calculator. He is a pocket bloody calculator. He doesn't even look as doubly the old... Alison, he's your father. <sighs> Mother, come back. We've lumbered ourselves with a bloody mausoleum with a granny flat. Just because he's eating his heart out because Sam Foley's got one. Careful, darling. It's never been out before. There'll be sunlight in Hammersmith as well, won't there? Same sun, isn't it? Bye bye, flat. Bye bye, flat. And thank you. One door closes, another one opens, eh? <laughs> Do 
floppy disks. You what? To name but one. Go and sign my life away then. Collect the keys to heaven. She just sitting there like that. Might be tired. I think I might be in here. You lost, miss. You could say that. Where are you going? Round in circles. Up the spout. No, not up the spout. Nowhere. Does it matter? Right. Carrie! What do you mean? What do you mean, Miss? Hang about, lads. She's got a bloke in with her now. Haven't it off? Up past ten in the morning. You never see that in Chiswick, hardly. Here, do you think she's on the game? Uh, look! They're not going. having it off. How are you? What, They're having a domestic. No, They're bleeding, killing each other. Come on! Oh, this is what you're doing now, can't we? That's what you want in it. Let's leave it alone! Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. I don't want to know what it's about, whatever it's about. The Alifax doesn't give 90% odd kids, you know? You can't give mortgages on kids. You what? You leave them, don't I didn't mean start a family today. I didn't mean open the door, walk in, lie down and start a family before the cook has even been connected. Move! It's all right for her, what? You might not work like There's no bleeding tomorrow. Like there is tomorrow, working for tomorrow. It's in their blood. What's in your blood? Your lot. You ain't got no blood. Anna Smith, move! If starting a family is too much like hard work for you, you just lie there. Have a nice rest. I'll do the bouncing up and down. What did she say? Come, Come on. on. Come on. You want to start unloading then? I'll help you in a minute, but muscles are seized up with something. I know it sounds balmy, Carrie. I don't think I can move. Well, it won't be for long, Keith. What? No. no I mean, move. My arm's in there. Perhaps if I've got a sedative from Dr. Wardle, perhaps I'll need a sedative. Or maybe hypnosis? Where in Hammersmith? 28 Paulins and Rose. I know the quickest way to Shepherd's Bush, around the Shepherd's Goulis. Get it? Does your missus know you're running around with four married women? She hasn't said. Do it, Luke. Get off, get, get off your kidney <laughs> bath and give me a love bite. <laughs> <laughs> See if she says anything tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Must be. All that's left in there is floorboards. Right, this one, we can get started. Hey there. Uh, just on our way, Gav. I beg to differ, mate. You haven't finished. Where's he on about spare us a baby's bum in there? Let's be having you. Hang up, pal. All I'm saying is you haven't finished, all right? So this is to finish the job. Off we go, and everybody's watching. Mm -hmm. We have? Don't go. It's all loaded, ready for the off. Ashes from three fireplaces. Doorknobs from every door. Fingerplates from every door. Ashes? You know? You're taking the ashes? Evidently not a rose man, my dear. You don't grow roses, I take it. Well, I ain't got a garden, have I? 
Ah, well, that's your prerogative, isn't it, to each his own? But here we have um, 12 rose trees. And how many were we going, Betty? 31. 31. Make sense? Yeah. Also, there's the light switches from every room. The light bulbs from all the ceilings. I honestly think that light bulbs are fixtures and fittings, dear. And switches and finger plates. And doorknobs. Yes, dear. Ours. So, back to the van. Return with a screwdriver, all right? Light bulbs, light switches, doorknobs, finger plates, picture hooks in one plastic bag, ashes in another, and away we go. All right? All right, Gus. You're a bit of a pain at times, Betty. Not always. With no rose trees here now, anyway. You have really five to take with us and killed the other seven in the attempt. Everything costs money, you know. Nothing's free. Not being greedy, but being satisfied with what you've got. That's free. The most expensive thing in the world. You've missed a bit. In the corner. No, no, no. The point he's making, what his point is, is that nature abhors a vacuum. Yeah, well, you were saying the opposite, weren't you? I was using Socratic argument. Well, Dan Socrates, I thought we were doing Spinoza now. Oh, what's abhors mean, anyway? Not what you think it means. But all I'm trying to prove is that nothing isn't something. Well, that's bloody obvious, mate. Nothing's obvious, my lad. That's the beauty of Socrates. That bird's tits are obvious. That's the beauty of tits. I don't want to know. Look. According to Socrates, the only thing in the world that's obvious is that nothing is. I thought he had the light bulbs. Betty, I hold this while I slam the door. Sure, they could have taken these in the lorry round. No, dear. Not my golf clubs, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, just a minute. Hold that. Uh, I say, are you there? You can't manage this little chap, can you? Jesus. Ralph, you can't take that. Hmm? It was a selling point when we advertised the house. Estate agents' blurbs do not constitute a contract, dear, and are therefore not binding. Worth a few bob, that. Well? We're running a bit late, Gav. Well, it'll only take a few minutes. I'm sure it's lighter than it looks. Hmm? I thought you always say time's money, dear. Forget it. Off you go. 55 Christchurch Hill, Hampstead. See you there. Ralph! I thought you said you'd done all the fun. Bye bye, Edgar, dear. If ever you're passing through Hampstead, you will drop in and see us, won't you? Absolutely. My battery charger. Is so, that so right? You've still got my battery charger. From last winter. The winter before, Marjorie thinks. Oh, hell. It's somewhere in there. Uh, uh, look, the minute we've unpacked, all right? You'll bring it? Absolutely. Oh, oh, uh, post it. Hmm? You won't forget. Betty, Edgar's battery charger, top priority. All right? All the best. Bye-bye, Edgar, dear. Idiot! Not you, dear. Not on this occasion. Them. I told them I'd go on ahead to let them in. Okay, turn left, sharpish. Oi, hold it right there. Why, man, Jeff? What is it? Leading vehicle. Tax, insurance, MOT, and free ball tyres. 
just... Watch your step. All right? Thanks for helping me out, Mum. And getting Stan. Thanks, Stan. You did very well, Desmond. Left home nearly two and a half hours before you got yourself into trouble. Do you want to come back to the flat? It's only a couple of streets. Myra's bound to be there. If I know Myra, she'll never turn. Bound to? I want to stand in the street all day. I can do it in Hackney. Stan, when you've dumped his stuff, can you give me a lift home? I'll need petrol money again, Des. I've got my brick line in Bethnal Green at half past twelve. Well, I mean, dull money comes through, eh? What with my overheads and all that? Well, it's all cash flow, isn't it? No, what? Carpet layer. Carpet layer? Carpet layer. When would I ever learn? Who? Come on, chuck it off, Tide. Chuckley! The pilot light's gone out. Uh, tell them when everything with a green label comes in here. The electric and watch the banisters going upstairs. I've seen more scratch paint work than you've ever <coughs> than anybody. Dad! Mm. If you must sit on a tea chest, I'll empty that one and you can take it down to your granny flat and sit on it in there. No, I'll go when I've sorted these cowboys out, love, not before. Excuse me, madam. We can't on no while he's here, you see, madam. Either before he's here or after he's here. He buggers us up, you see, madam. We have nightmares about carpet layers. Oh, dear, he was booked, you see, I thought... Well, so we'll have to stick this room stuff in the basement until he's finished then, all right. It bloody isn't all right. How long are you going to be then, Squire? A couple of weeks? Three? Well, the more I'm left alone, the quicker I can get on with it, all right? Now, move your feet. Come on. Well, we'll have to try a touch of the Mary Poppins then, let's. We'll manage. <laughs> oh, I say, are you there? Um, I wonder if you could tell me... Is this a conversation, sir? You might have noticed I'm balancing a ten-ton lamp. Are the new people in, the new occupiers? You're not a French polisher, are you? I beg your pardon. French polishers, mm. carpet layers, mm. they come in pairs. Mind your back, sir. Oh, but it's a... Uh, it's very good of you to let me do this, Mrs. Metcalf. I can't believe I am letting you do it. I can't believe you're doing it. Elastic bands? Yes, well, they're in here somewhere, I'm sure of it. You drop your wife off in the middle of Hampstead while you come chasing back to Hammersmith for elastic bands? Well, there's an old pile of them. 30 or 40 of them. Ah! <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> Do you know, look, if I had a penny for every one of these... Oh, well, I'm not... sorry, but I think the whole thing's absolutely... I don't think the pot will stretch to a cup for you, unfortunately. <laughs> one for me. I think I got yours. I thought the more you was left alone, the quicker you'd be. Someone missing. What's he up to? Wondering about finding fault. He said he won't come back in till these lines have gone. There you are. I found this as well, slipped down the side. Oh, I see, that's very... Goodbye, Mr. and Mrs. Metcalf, and I do hope you'll be extremely happy. If you'd have left one lousy light bulb, Mr. Thorne, I'd have been a sight happier. Not one window opens in the kitchen, gunged up with 20-year-old paint. Oh, you forgot to rip out the phone, Mr. Thorne. Well, I think I'll just sit down. 
Hello. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Who? Hang on, Mrs. Thorne. He's still here. Ah. Mr. Thorne. Yes, 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 yes. Your wife. Excuse me, please, gentlemen. There we are. Gracias. Betty, guess what I found as well. Look, I'm sorry I've been so long. I'll be with you in two shakes. What? Ralph, there she is. What can we get you to? What? What can we? I don't. She won't budge. But, and our removal men have vanished off the face of the. And hers say she just cancelled them on the spot. So they drove off to another job in Paddington. Paddington? And when I rang the solicitor to tell him, he said if the keys aren't handed over, it's not ours anyway. And everything has gone all insane, right. Ralph. Right. Shh, shh, shh. We have no home. All right. All right. We have got no furniture. Well, now, yeah. madam, don't upset yourself. Moving house is very upsetting. It's a big upset, man. People get upset. It's according to medical opinion. Who's he? The other removal tribe. No, he isn't. I've already spoken to her men. They're on their way to Paddington. And he's not one of ours. I know No, ours. he's moving the Metcalfs into our house. Our old house. <laughs> well, what the hell's it got to do with him? Been in his business 37 years, madam. I've seen it all. <laughs> now, first things first, sir. Uh, your furniture. How late are they? Well, they left Hammersmith with us. Fully loaded an hour ago. An hour and a half over. Yes. Was they stopping off for dinner anywhere? No, they were coming straight here. They had some sandwiches while they were loading. Cheese and tomato. What was the name of the firm? Oh, well, I've got their leaflet. <laughs> the, the one's worth now, I think you'll find. We've got no name, sir. Hmm? No address, no. There's a phone number there, look. Discontinued, I rang. Cheap removals will move your furniture anywhere, anytime, cheaper than anyone else guaranteed. Ring for free estimate. The operator said there's no such number now. I rang. Yes, but there was, though, when I rang for the estimate and organised the entire... What's it? Probably borrowed a noggy shot, sir. Beg your pardon, me. Um, did you sign official contracts, sir? Not in so many words. <laughs> he rang to tell them to come and give him an estimate. They did, he said yes, and that was it. Until today. Um, how much was the estimate, sir? Two fifty. Um, what was real firm's quotes? Five, six? In between. Well, it's cost you nothing in the end. It's one consolation, isn't it? <laughs> Apart from all your furniture, that is. Oh, yes. God! Cheap removals, cheaper than anyone else. Everything we own, everything. You strip the whole house. Down to doorknobs. Oh, by the way, sir, that ain't strictly legal. It's everything he does his whole life. We're only moving because he knew we'd get over the odds for our house. And this one's going cheap because our husband's died. I wish mine would! Betty, we're in this strange street. All for 250,000 pounds. I... The cocktail cabinet alone costs twice that. Um, right, well, uh... Look, sir, you go and report the theft. Oh, yes, sir. I'll go and talk to the lady in here. Um, what was her name, by the way? Andreas. Bloody <laughs> Andreas. Just sitting there. All she says is she's not leaving. Ever. Right. Oh, Betty, there is just one more thing. You didn't take the net curtains down from the basement. Did you? You got two fives for ten. Mrs. Andreas, I presume. Good morning, madam. Madam, moving house is very upsetting. It's a big upsetment. People got upset. Would have no need. I certainly have no need. I no move. One inch. Alison! Coming! <laughs> Bloody Natasha. Yale! Who? Sam Foley's got a Yale and a chub for his granny flat. I'm not bloody good enough for a chub.
in now, you've got 10 seconds to get out. All right? 10. 9. 8. They must bang. The least they could do is bang on the beat, right? We'll get the law on you, bloody parasites! I fought a bloody war for you lot! Monte Casino! Smokes, turn up the volume, will you? Eleven different houses in twenty years. Twenty years since we came from Cyprus. Every time we move, he say me, this one I make like a Mediterranean villa, Limassol. And he knock this wall away and that wall, and he knock the staircase away and put in new, and he knock another wall away. And I see him, darling, the picture window, very nice, but when I look out, I no see the Mediterranean. I see Tesco's. We want it to be like home. Please, we go home. Understandable. No, that for him is the happiness. And the bricks are coming out and the plaster is flying everywhere, in my hair, in my bra, in my cleftico, everywhere. And him, him, he sings. He liked to take old house and make it like new. This, this was a slum. He make it a palace, yes. Beautiful. It nearly kill him. As soon as he finish, he see house in Holland Park, he start singing again. He say, we buy, we knock down many walls, we make like Limassol. I say him, darling, even in Limassol, villa have walls. You no young man anymore. I don't want to live in Mediterranean villa. I want nice English house. I got one. I had ten nice ones before this one. You make yourself ill. But it's like I talk to wall, wall before he knock it down. I say him. You know what you are? You are a glutton for punishment. But, you know, listen. A glutton, he always want more. He go to builder's merchant, pick up tiles. This, he say, is for new floor in hall. He pick up RSJ. This, he say, is for new ceiling in kitchen. And then. And then. His heart, it say. Enough. I've had enough. Three weeks ago on Tuesday, 9.20 in the morning at Builder's Merchant. That is watch, was it? Mm. Swiss made. Inca block. Everyone fly me from Cyprus. Family I never even seen before. They all say me, oh, what a beautiful home you got. Just like Limassol. Yeah. Um, Mrs. Andreas, that couple outside, they bought this house. You've got to get your stuff out. No. You've got to go to Holland Park. I no move one inch. Mrs. Andreas, you mustn't break the chain. Chain? See, if, if you don't go to Holland Park, well, then people outside ain't got no home. The people in Holland Park can't move to where they're moving to. And people where they're moving to can't move to where they're moving to. Everything stops. Everyone loses thousands in deposits. But everything in chaos stands to. And the civilizations we know it. Good. Teach them to be happy as they are. Oh. Oh, that, that's a different chain, my dear. <laughs> that's human nature what you're onto there. That it, it's more in the realm of your, Philosophical observation what you into there. Which coincidentally enough, you Greeks died in the first place, didn't you? Eh? Um, 
This is Andreas. You'll excuse me uh, intruding into your private grief, but you was very close, was you? Uh, you and uh, the late Mr. Andreas. Mm. Once, maybe. Sometimes, in our younger days, say, six, seven houses ago, huh? my heart said enough back in Battersea. That is when I went to sleep thinking, one day I get my own back for all this. Today. Please. Today is that day. That's how you get your own back. How? Go to Holland Park, my love. Move in. And once you're in, don't change a dicky bird. Eh? Change nothing. Just sit in a nice English house like you've always wanted. Let's show him. <laughs> you mean I can't do nothing? Sod all, Gov, legally. You see, the half hour between that bloke moving out and you lot turning up, no legal occupier, was there? In there go, ba boom. What about the law? But that is the law, Gov. No, he means the police. Two weeks it will take them, Gov. I know I've done it myself. Well, got rid of squatters? No, squatted. Elgin Avenue, made of ale. Nice place and all. Lovely cool, this is. Sam Foley never had squatters. So, right, well, we'll be off then, Gov. Oh, right, well, uh... Thanks very much for everything. Right. Um, the gaffer usually, um, uh, when a job's finished, sort of thing, and that, he uh, usually. Um, it's all right, Al. I mean, if, if you're satisfied with a move, and that, he. Um, only with him not being here at the moment. Hello? Oh. Alison Metcalf. Sorry. I'm afraid the answering um, machine isn't plugged yes. in yet. Oh, well, thanks very much, yes. Well, good luck then. Dudley, can one of the removal men come to the phone? It's the other one. I say. You're wanted on the phone. Hang on. One of your colleagues is coming. It's your other colleague, the older one. Oh, Hello, precious. Listen, we're doing a dodgy. Amster to Holland Park. I'll fix the price up with a customer. Be a nice bit of buns for us. Tell the lads, all right? No, it's all in readies. Uh, 55 Christ Churchill. I phoned the gaffer. I told him we're taking a trip to Fry and Barney, Ricky Tuesday's stories job. Now, of course, he don't believe me. Listen, it's not a big job, so don't rush. Be hour at the most. The contracts can't be exchanged for hours yet. Solicitors won't be finishing their egg and chips at half past three. So you and the lads nip out and get a bit of birth begin on, right? No, I'm fixed up here. Shish kebab on toast, right? Everything all right, you're in? Don't tell me, I don't want to know. Right, dear. We have lift off. What happens if we smash the door down, smash their faces in, and kick them out? You get done for assault. Ta da! Oh, my God. If it's two weeks before we can get them out, you realise what that means? Don't worry. Don't worry. For two weeks, he'll have to move in with us. Really, with us. In here. Oh, no, darling. What? He won't. I've just rang Sam Foley. He's offered to put him up in his granny flat, where he can really eat his heart out. <laughs> <laughs> Diana, surely. She's coming with, isn't she? 
In a brand new Daimler. Real hired interiors. She's hardly a day old yet. Princess Di. She'll be four at Christmas. The Daimler, dear. Don't be moronic. Have a busy day. Quite honestly, Ma, I do think you could have waited another day before you got it. A new house and a new car on the same day is a bit OTT. Proposed and seconded. It is night speech we're moving to, dear. Well, so by law you have to have a brand new car, even in Knightsbridge. They won't deport you. Anyone anything else to add to ruin the day? Street demonstration over? Good. Can we get on? Alex, all the silver's well insured. That could have gone with the removal men. It isn't silver. It's EPNS. Then why does it need a personal chauffeur at all? It was a wedding present. Uh, the piano was a wedding present. That's gone with the removal men. The piano wasn't from the chaps. If anything could have gone with the men, it's that. No one knows it's Placido Domingo behind you. It's only his back. I thought we were getting on. I'll take the residence parking place at the new house. Yes, you can bob that round the corner somewhere. What's she calling it? Maggie. After? I expect so. Gets high on all this, doesn't she? Let's face it, she's never really got over not being in the Queen's Honours list at birth. <laughs> Knightsbridge. Can we afford Knightsbridge? Darling, we can't afford the Daimler. Does she know? She doesn't believe in accountants. What does she believe in? If you haven't got it, flaunt it. Looking ever so slightly shabby down here these days, isn't it? Who lives at number 36? The allergy specialist. Oh, they seem to be moving too. How do I open the window? Oh, <laughs> excuse me, young man. Where are these people moving to? Belgravia. Sorry? Belgrave Square, Belgravia. Oh. Nice. Mind your nose, Ma. Allergy specialists. Maybe they slow eaters, these solicitor people. I like slow eaters. It means they like to taste the food forever, savouring. Like love. Love, passion. True. Maybe that it. Nah, not the case of solicitors, I shouldn't think, madam. You should see the state of their houses when they move. State? Muck. Solicitor people have mucky houses? Solicitors, doctors and teachers. We had one last Tuesday, Ballum, cooker, was so greasy it damn near slid out on its own. He got flea bites, didn't he? Well, he always has had him. Number of beds he's been in and out of them. She don't want to know. Shall we sing? Sing. Hmm. A nice on a drive. A nice sing song. Hmm? Maybe we sing A Little Boy George. You like boy George? Kama, 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 kamilia. Come and, and go. go. You come and go. Love, 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 my dreams. Red, gold, and green. Red, gold, and green. I'm sorry, Thomas. I think you're raving mad. I said so all along, and I say it again. One word, and you could stop this whole charade. Charade, he says. 
the only real thing I've done in 42 years. What would you do in my place, Ambrose? Go on a binge for six months, a year, whatever it is? What would you binge it on? What is there? Christ almighty! Raving mad, you said. Yes, I am mad. I'm mad at everything. At me, at God, at everything. I'm mad enough to want to kill. I'd like to kill. It's just so pig-headed. So of course it's bloody pig-headed. That's the whole bloody point. Look, all I'm saying is, for the next six months, or year, or who knows, maybe two years. No. Not as much as two. But look, if it's one. Even if it's only a week, why do it? When you can stay here, or, or the Savoy, or... Or the Bahamas and and uh... look, just take care of the money side, all right? Get this lot off to Sotheby's or Christie's or wherever. You know where to reach me. Uh, I'm afraid I do. If I'm dying, if I have to die now, I just want to do it. Somewhere I know. All right? Somewhere warm, quiet. I just want to go back home. Come on. Let these lads get on with it. If you fancy watching Lake Norian with me next season, let me know. Of course, it's not Lake Norian now, is it? It's just Orion. Same thing. The housekeeper has instructions to look after you. Thank you, sir. Home, James. I know your name's Robert, but home. The casseroles are in there, man. Right there, right? Yes, anywhere for now. You shouldn't be doing all this for me. Well, every couple of months, we get a special case, madam, and you are undoubtedly a special case. Maybe I move again every couple of months. I'll let you know, huh? <laughs> all shipshape everywhere. Everything unpacked and put away. I've put all your long dresses on one hanger. Oh, are you very, very kind. Right, well, we'll be toddling along. Get all this lot out of the way at the same yeah, time. Right. Oh, wait, no. that is for boss man now. A little something for the boys. Well, that's very really kind of you. Thanks. God bless you. Uh, no, um, well, we'll be getting... We'll be getting quite a lump at this, actually. Listen, I move enough times to know better. Always a little something for the boys. Think we're going to do all right out of her. Bunts on top of bunts, innit? Well, she must be loaded, mustn't she? Yeah. More than that, innit? I mean, she loves us. She said she wanted us to have something more valuable than money. And what did you say? I remember opening my mouth, but I don't think nothing come out. <laughs> A lot of very sharp kids came from these streets. Mickey Lomax lived down there on the right. He owns half the container fleet in Hong Kong now. Ah, and a little Jewish kid lived at the backs across there. He used to crack on, he was a Catholic, so he could get a tenner every Friday night. Lighten the old rabbi's fire for him. Weren't supposed to light your own those days, not the Sabbath. 
He got a medal at Saint Nazaire, that kid. Posthumous. A couple of kids from my school had trials with the Leighton Orient. I don't know what happened to them. This is it. Thanks for everything, Bob. Mind how you go. Thank you, sir. Thank you, old chap. Letters to number 94, the fewer the better. Stark raving mad. Love to Natalie. Yes? Mr. Jackson. Oh. Right. Is that all you got with you? That's all. Come in, then. Thank you. Did you ring the doorbell? Yes. It doesn't work. No. Never did. In there, please. Guy's litter tray. What? Well, where should it go? There's no back porch. Well, she can't do it outside. Not in Knightsbridge. She'll just have to tinkle in her knickers like everyone else. Well, we're not really Knightsbridge here. What? We're virtually Belgravia, more or less. Come again? Belgravia borders, anyway. Abutting Belgravia borders. I think her mind's crumbling. Only one thing can save her now. Moving to Buckingham Palace. Can we do that on Bupa? I think you're making a mistake, old chap. We do have a permit, you know. Not for this car, is it, Squire? Sorry? Different registration number. Oh, how? Oh, we applied when we had the old... Uh... Well, this is now... Uh... We're the ones who live here, though. It's our space. Case of right resident, wrong motor, mate. Discrimination, really, you know. We never get this trouble in Brixton. Nice banger. But it eats petrol, doesn't it? Company car, is it? used to take four. They do at that age, don't they? Settling in all right, then? It's changed. It's all changed. Well, it's the same, but it's changed. 
Because it's warm. Quiet. I told the man it would be better if you saw it first yourself. But he said... I mean, it's only a room. I'm the first to admit... The fireplace is gone. Used to be a real fireplace there with a big mirror over it. And the bed was across that way. Me on that side. My brother on that. I didn't know it used to be your house. The man never said. Get a bit nippy. It's a firework. Um, I have to get the element seen to. It may be the wiring in the walls, but Des thought it was the element. Sometimes, if you just knock on the wall... The other... The other side's usually quite quiet. the man it was only a room I'll leave off. I'll find some way you can pay me back. Hi, Des. That's Gary from work. That's Des. All right. You're right. So I'll see you tomorrow then, darling. Where have you been? Work. Where do you think? Oh. You've been here long? A bleeding day, ain't I? <laughs> If only you'd think with your brains instead of your balls. Why didn't you go in? It's your flat. It's got to give you the key. Anyway, he's gone now. Even hours ago. Yeah, i just seen him. Picked up the key from his office on the way here. What's he care who has the key? You should have just gone in. Still. Going in now, aren't we? Together. Kiss a kiss, then. You feeling randy? I think I did. This morning. So what did the doctor say? Nothing wrong with her. What about the dizzy spells? He says it's the worry that does that. Ah. Is there anything worrying her? Yeah, the bleeding dizzy spells. What's tomorrow look like? Two-man packing job, Palmer's Green. So, you two get a lovely little line. Ready for four-man move to Bermondsey Monday. Or Mandav, according to her typewriter, in Bermondsey. <sighs> right, from where we left off, please, mate. It's going home time. Oh, it's the last one, isn't it? Exams in two hours. I can't pronounce him. Vico. Gambus test. Gambus. Gambus of Vico. Irishman, is he? See, what he's saying, what his point is, is there's birth and growing and then decaying, then rebirth, then regrowing again. That's cobblers, isn't it? What is? Who gets reborn? Who do we know? He means civilization, doesn't he? The human race through the centuries. It's like a circle in there. You'll end up as balmy as them, you know that, don't you? Come on, heads down, he sums it up, how? He sums it up like, if you leave your 
your doorstep and travel as far as you can, well, all you do is, like, finish up back in your own doorstep again, what you started from in the first place. Well, even if you travel right round the world? Of course. Bound to enter the world's round, isn't it? So what he's getting at, really, is that it takes the whole journey, all your life, to get to know yourself, what you're about. I know what I'll be about tonight, darling. A few Guinness down the pub till leg over time and then... I don't want to know. So... The funny thing is, I once knew a bloke called Torville. What? Sid Torville. No relation, I don't think. He had all Rosemary Clooney's records and a drooping eyelid. Who's Rosemary Clooney? I don't know if he could skate, though. He never said.
Captain's 